Hey everybody, welcome back to A-Hole Design, brought to you by our sponsor, the Sparkle Shorts channel, where if you subscribe now for free, you'll have access to an enormous library of fantastic quality short film gaming content, and you'll help us maybe get algorithmified by YouTube on other videos. Wouldn't that be cool? Uh, who am I kidding? That'll never happen. Anyway, also make sure to check out the like button while you're down there in the description. Getting the link to the Sparkle Shorts channel. Let's start off with number 19. Ad uses Cameo from Snoop Dogg to endorse their download these games to earn free gift card scam. Hey, this makes me very angry. I could probably make an entire video going into something like this because you found this loophole where you could just pay a couple dollars and then get an advertisement out of them. That's not cool. And there's got to be some policy with Cameo where you're not allowed to use the clips for commercial purposes, but maybe they like did it anyway. And all also, isn't Skills like a major company traded on the NASDAQ? Sorry, we're doing Stonks talk again. You're like, please leave it to Stardew and Folly Kingdom with Zine for those of you who watch that stuff on stream. But allegedly, I don't know if it's actually them, but allegedly, if you're a big company publicly traded, you probably shouldn't do that. Just a thought. I don't know. Just if you want, uh, yeah, I'm sure Snoop Dogg is pretty expensive if you want to get him to legitimately promote your product, but you've probably got the valuation to do that. Allegedly, okay? I don't know if this is legit. If it's actually them allegedly, okay? Allegedly. All allegedly. All right, we've seen this a whole bunch before, so grocery shopping website posts this deceptive ad. You'd have to squint to read that it's actually a hiring ad, and they're not accepting Bitcoin. We are accepting Bitcoins. Now that we have your attention, we are hiring kick ace engineers. Also, we're not accepting Bitcoin. I don't know, maybe you could have done this better. Maybe you could have been like, hey, we're accepting Bitcoin. Actually, not yet, but we want to be accepting Bitcoin, and that's why we're hiring these engineers to enable us to do so. I mean, if that is the goal, you could have you could have done it that way, or you could have been like, we wish, we hope we can accept Bitcoin, but we need engineers in order to be able to do it, so we're hiring. Rather than, hey, we're doing this, also we're not. But you want to work for us? We are we are 100% truthful about everything. You see, we clarified it in the fine print. Your contract will have plenty of that. HP printer only prints six by four when low on ink. Is there anything about a printer that is not mildly infuriating though? I'm pretty sure printers just exist. We're not on mildly infuriating. Sorry, I was just thinking anger week, you know, but a whole design mildly infuriating, they all tie together. I'm pretty sure that's just the point of printers. If you're expecting anything else, you're in the wrong market. Okay, <laughs> this scam air purifier. This air purifier is just a beeping light device. It's all right. It's just they're running a study on placebo versus actual scented thing, seeing what people like more, okay? And they do a focus group test study, and then they decide if they actually need to bother with spending the extra few cents per thing and whatever R&D costs and putting the scent in. If people don't even care, if it's totally placebo, why even, why bother, you know? Trying to close a PayPal account. Before you close your account, there's something that needs to be resolved. Please contact customer service and we'll help you with it. I kind of understand putting additional safeguards on closing an account that deals with money. I actually understand the safeguards. And I know when I come on this subreddit, there's always comments like, uh, it's Jardon, the such and such apologist. But like, if this, say this account just had a thousand dollars in it and it was just withdrawn the other day and then you're closing the account, I understand because what if somebody got into it, withdrew the money and then they closed the account and then it's just like, they got away with that. There's like no way to retrieve it because the account's just over and done with. So I kind of understand it would just vary on the circumstance, but I can see why, right? I felt like with bank accounts, I don't think you can just go online and be like, want to close my bank account. I'm pretty sure you have to speak with someone about it. So our company has received numerous boxes of nothing enclosed, but a postcard and paper confetti. Oh, dude, it's it's like this is what a, a promotional packaging things look like. Usually when a company, if a company sends me like a, a sample product, except usually the sample product is also in there. I don't think I've ever actually gotten one that's just empty with the postcard. <laughs> That's truly next level. Wow, I received something cool. The package is pretty light, but hopefully there will be something of interest in there. No, just, just a, just a postcard in the box. Just literal waste. I just, it's, it's unbelievable. It seems like since the crown started, mail has just gone through the roof and I hate every second of it. Like there used to be three day periperiods of time where I'd never get mail and it's just, oh, it's the most beautiful thing ever. Now, 
Every day, every day, there's just stuff overflowing. There's nothing good about getting mail anymore. It's just, you dread it. At least for me, I dread getting mail. Stop sending me things. I want nothing to do with you. I want to be left alone. Don't talk to me. Leave me alone. I'm a hermit. Stop trying to infiltrate my life with your junk mail. Haha, <sighs> a fork you. Wow, look at this new image right here from The Matrix 1. Oh, and cool new fan art. Hmm. Also, this just kind of looks like, is this not just like a still from the Matrix? Does he really age backwards? I know he like, he's aging, he doesn't really show signs of it, but does he go backwards? Cause he looks even younger there. <laughs> it's impressive. Keanu Reeves, he existed in the 1500s. There's indisputable evidence of it, but still like somehow got even younger. Manipulating readers by posting misleading title. Can you download GTA 4 for Android? It's not officially available for Android, but up here we say, Download guide for PC. How to download GTA 4 on PC, Android, and iPhone. Well, at least the, they weren't misleading up here. It says download guide for PC. It's just in the in this part, they, they figure they'll get away with putting Android and iPhone there until they can't any longer. And then at least they don't have to update the image because that's more difficult to update. Whereas this is just, you can delete the text. So did you know you cannot actually play Grand Theft Auto 4 on your phone. It's very unfortunate, and um, but you had to click through the article to learn that. Facebook putting ads in Oculus VR games. I, I, I saw this as big news on Twitter the other day, and I don't know like what it means. Does it just mean if you're playing a game, it'll just be like, excuse us for a moment while we throw an ad in front of your experience. Don't worry, we're pausing the game. Unless it's multiplayer, in which case, sorry, you might get shot right now, but here's an ad. Hey, you guys call me an ad apologist here on this subreddit. This one, I'm leaning towards I don't like it. I don't, I feel like it can't be as bad as like you're playing a game and here's an ad. If it is like that, then it's bad, okay? I'm not always an ad apologist. Yeah, I mean, if you've paid for the Oculus Quest and it interrupts your viewing experience, then that's gonna be a no from me, dog. All right, see, I don't always defend it. Dear Newsweek, is that the end of the article? Oh, wait, is it just gonna, it's gonna be like you have to pay to read the rest of the article, which is on most news sites these days. No? Okay. Oh, it's just the stack of ads at the bottom. Yeah. Always love those. Wait, the article is continuing! Hold on! Wait, how many articles have I actually not reached the end of? You just had to scroll through like 20 pages of ads to get to the next part. I've seen this to a lesser extent with like, you know, there's just one ad in the middle and then you scroll through it, but... Oh my god. I mean, I guess they gotta do something, right? Cause when those are just at the bottom of the screen, no one's actually gonna scroll down to look at them. But yeah, that's that's big brain right there, dude. Just sandwich them in the middle of the article. Do people click those things? Cause it's always like, wow, you'll never believe what such and such did. So cool, I'm definitely gonna click through and it's probably not even anything there. It's just, I just get to click through to a bunch more ads all over my screen. <laughs> HP preventing you from getting ink cartridges from someone else. Uh, dynamic security enabled printer contains technology that may prevent cartridges with non-HP chips. Aren't all printers like this? Can you buy like generic ink cartridges? I didn't actually know that. I thought I just like go off of on the printer. It says what ink cartridges you're supposed to get. And then I'm like, oh God, it ran out so soon. Well, I guess let me just pay another printer price in order to get the ink cartridges. And so I didn't even, re I guess maybe there's ones that'll be like generic can work with these brands and models. But yeah, these, uh, that thing is a chip on it too. It probably is the same. I bet they all have DRM at this point, man. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me at all. See, there's, there is, there are a-hole design things, but then there's a-hole design things that I just like, yeah, I accept this. It's just the way that it is. Even if maybe it shouldn't be, I'm just like, I'm not surprised. I'm not an apologist. I'm just like, I don't have enough effort to fight all these things, okay? And that's how they get you. That you just can't bother to combat it anymore, all right? And then they win. So I am part of the problem. One of the few good things about plastic bottles is they can be reused time and time again, so less plastic waste, right? Well, not anymore. I introduce you to single-use plastic bottles with a non-removable cap. Did someone actually, like, think in, in the water company that it was, hey, you know what's really eating into our margins? People getting one case of bottled water from us, and then they reuse the bottles, those terrible people. And then they never buy water from us again. They just fill those water bottles from the tap. Those terrible, awful, eco-friendly, environmentally conscious. Mm. 
Anti-capitalist losers. Oh, God. Thank you, Bridget, the Twitch mod. Um, who, who, thank you, Bridget, for getting me off of the, uh, water bottles. Cheers. I think we've seen that one on numerous occasions. So, we'll move on to wait for 50 minutes and then given a six second window. Oh my god, wait. Is this, this is, oh, this is so, so topical and hits so close to home. This is, oh my god, this is since the uber takeover of Postmates, which has been the bane of my existence. Oh my god. It's not just me. It can't, well, it can't just be me, okay? So, I mean, Uber acquired Postmates many months back, but they finally just like unrolled out the takeover. And now it's just like, if you have an issue with an order, if an item like doesn't show up or something, it tells you to t talk to a support person rather than you could just in the past say like, this didn't work. So when they got my order wrong, I could just easily fix it and they give a credit. Now you have to like talk to someone. Oh my God, oh my God. It's, oh, 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 and, and I've just, I haven't even bothered to do the talk. I was just like, I'll accept that I, I've just got the wrong order. Oh boy, it's been bad. It's so frustrating. <laughs> I know it's first world problems, but it's so frustrating, man. It's just like, it was fine before you guys. Why couldn't you just let it be? Oh, you bought it and you just unalived it. I guess that's what companies do. They, they Sometimes they'll buy out the competition. They'll just crush it. They buy it out to crush it rather than to develop it. <sighs> okay, anyway. Xiaomi putting ads everywhere, even in folders. Oh, promoted apps. Interesting, huh? It's like, but that's where you would have like your bottom bar of the apps you always want to be able to access. <laughs> Instead, it's promoted. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm not into that. See, I'm not always an ad apologist. Yeah, no, they, I shouldn't have fake apps to click on on my home screen. No, no, please. Thank you. Tinder now offers to harass people for you if you pay the money. <laughs> Hold a spot at the top. Stay on Noah's mind by pinning your chat. Pins last for 24 hours after your match sees their messages. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, hold on. Yeah, someone will go into their, their message list and it's basically promoted messages. Here, let me just search for my messages here. Oh, let me, there's some promoted advertisement messages at the top. Uh, is there a disclosure? Do those messages appear with like a blue box around them like on Google? And so the person can actually see this person paid so that their message stayed at the top. That's kind of weird. I'm gonna not do that. <laughs> It's uh, it's a little awkward. It's a little awkward. Then the follow-up message. I paid four dollars. Why do you no respond? <laughs> it's not cool. <laughs> when Papa John's expects us to pay their employees the bulk of their income instead of paying them a livable wage, delivery fee is not a tip. Please reward your driver for outstanding service. I don't know if this is just supposed to turn into a discussion about tips in general, but I don't know. I understand tipping the delivery driver and I, I try to tip delivery drivers pretty well and stuff like that. I guess it's weird if the restaurant itself is like advertising it. I, I guess maybe it's maybe it's the part where the restaurant is advertising it. But yeah, I don't I mean, I just know it's like especially given the fees that I see in the delivery app as to how much is baked into the cost of like the delivery fee and stuff I'm like that's not enough for the amount of time that they're spending like driving over and paying for gas and the depreciation and all that stuff. So I try to, I try to be generous. So I understand that, but also I guess, I don't know, maybe it's the weird, you, like, you should tip your delivery driver, but yes, maybe the system is fundamentally flawed, but this is a discussion, a bigger discussion than we have time for right now. I mean, also, yeah, you should probably pay them more for being employees of the restaurant who's getting who's getting the delivery fee if not the delivery driver so i don't understand i don't understand that one you're not paying the driver with that okay that's uh that doesn't seem like it should be the case windows 10 update silently turns on news and weather and taskbar links default to edge ignoring default browser choice and drive traffic to microsoft's own msn.com so they can boost ad revenue i see that it's a little annoying to have something added to your taskbar that you didn't ask for when you're used to it a certain way but also i know you can go into settings and you can disable that i don't have it yet because well i push off doing windows updates for other reasons. So the primary AL design is just Windows updates as a whole break everything. My webcam stops working, my microphone stops working, I have to change the settings in all the programs so that it uses my microphone again. Sometimes I can't figure out how to get it to work, I have to restart the computer again. So I always, when I see that update and restart button down there, I dread it. 
I held off restarting my computer for several weeks because it was forcing me to do an update and restart. And I was like, I can't do this. I can't deal with the stress that this is gonna cause right now. I guess I have this to look forward to, but I know I can disable it. Also, weather, I can see how they think. Well, people probably want quick and easy access to weather. So, but also, yeah, I, they're doing something to try to drive it back to generate website traffic that they can share with shareholders in the next meeting or something like that. I see what they're doing with it, but I guess it's not like surprising. So I don't know. I have kind of a neutral take on this one, TBH, despite it being the top post of the last month on A-Hole Design. So that's where we'll leave it off. Thank you all for tuning in. Make sure to like if you like. Subscribe on this channel. I can't speak. Uh, if you're not already, hit the bell. If you haven't turned on notifications yet, check out the last A-Hole Design by clicking the end screen over here. Follow at, uh, I just went into Twitch mode. I was gonna be like, follow twitch.tv slash Captain Sparkles. I'm like, wait, this isn't the live stream. <laughs> Subscribe to Sparkle Shorts. You should follow Twitch though. That's pretty cool. There's a lot of content. All right, that's it. I'll see you later.